Do you know what this beautiful girl is a do? You wouldn't expect that she is actually a thief. She is taking expensive items, no matter how much they are worth. After picking up the items, she went to the counter and said she wanted to return the items. The cashier asked if she had a bill. Of course the answer is no. The cashier asked again if she brought the credit card used for payment last time. She said she bought it last week. She made an angry expression and told the cashier to give a bag to keep so she can casually take those items out. She entered a five-star hotel with a bag of luxury goods. A couple is checking out. That beautiful girl eavesdrop on their information. Then, waiting for the couple to leave, she phoned the receptionist, reading the previous couple's information correctly. Their flight was delayed, she said. So she wanted to book another night. The beautiful girl said the receptionist to tell the steward come and clean up the room. She entered the room right away so that she didn't need the door pass. Then she had a room without spending any money. A series of extremely mature action. Her name is Debbie. She just got out of prison a few hours ago. However, she is currently planning her next super mission. She wants to steal a diamond necklace worth $150 million. Debbie contacted her best friend, Lou, and told her to find five more partners. They immediately found their target, an out-of-date designer in debt of $5 million, Rose. A few days later, they found the partners one by one, great diamond specialist, Amida. A great hacker, Nine Ball, Chinese thief performing on the street, April. A woman who looks like a gentle wife, but steals an entire warehouse bringing in her home Tammy. By this time, Debbie's plan was almost revealed. In about three weeks, the most prestigious party in US will be held at the museum. Their target is a famous female star named Daphne. By then, just by convincing her to lend that necklace, they would definitely steal it. But how to persuade Daphne to choose the designer they arranged in advance is a matter of now. They arranged designer Rose to meet a person that is the rival of Daphne. Indeed, Daphne was furious when she heard the news, she decided to take person from her rival. Daphne sees that Rose is indeed a different person and hires her immediately. Under Rose's propaganda, Daphne desperately longed to wear that necklace. By the date of the jewelry viewing, Rose was equipped with 3D glasses. Thanks to that, the hacker Nine Ball was able to get all the data of the necklace. They successfully do the fake one that look exactly the real one. Debbie was once severely wounded by men. She didn't know her boyfriend tricked her into signing a fraudulent contract. Five years in prison made her come up with a great plan. On the day of the party, Daphne wore a sparkling necklace. It caught everyone's attention to her. Lou becomes the manager at the hotel by somehow. She used the prepared medicine to put in Daphne's food. Daphne is tasting the dessert. The Chinese girl pretending to be a waiter went to the bathroom first. Daphne was starting to feel unwell at this point. Debbie, seeing that, quickly followed. Daphne began feeling extremely uncomfortable and nauseous. She quickly ran to the toilet. Debbie stood outside, not allowing the bodyguard to enter. April immediately came to help Daphne. She took the opportunity to steal her necklace. Tammy asked the waiter to quickly clear up the mess. April waited for the waiter to pass then she put the necklace in his tray. Amida, a diamond specialist, pretends to be a steward and successfully gets the necklace from the waiter. Then she went to the toilet and started working her job. She wanted to split the necklace so that it could be easily transported. The security guard immediately discovered that the necklace was gone. The $150 million necklace disappeared, causing the party to be postponed and people forbidden to go out. They started looking everywhere. Inside the toilet, Amida did almost a half of her job. On the other hand, Tammy took out the pre-prepared necklace, she shouted for everyone she found it. The crisis had been resolved, everyone was back on their places and the party resumed. Finally Amida finished breaking the necklace and giving them to the April. They then divided the diamonds among each person in their team. Debbie accidentally meets her former boyfriend, but she don't care much. By the time the party was over, no one noticed that a few more women left the party with precious diamond jewels. Only 24 hours later, the assessors discovered the incident. Famous FBL detective is in charge of investigating this case. He discovered that this group's deception technique was extremely skilled. They have adjusted the camera to not be exposed to it. He found Daphne and asked her about the situation when she went to the bathroom. He assumed she bribed the people in the toilet. At this point, Daphne had found five women that day. It turned out she had noticed their intentions long ago. However, even this was part of Debbie's plan. She immediately asked Daphne to join their team. Daphne did not think, but agreed immediately. She was extremely interested in their group's plans. 
Debbie hired old women with good acting to go to every store to sell the diamonds. The detective found Debbie. He knows that Debbie's family is full of famous thieves. He and them were rivals for a long time. He said that, although this time he had no evidence to accuse Debbie, he could be sure it was her. He tells Debbie to tell him where the necklace is now, and he won't condemn her. Debbie agrees to reveal to him the location of a part of the necklace. Debbie told Daphne to approach her ex-boyfriend. Daphne had tied him to bed as planned. It turned out that on the day of the party, Debbie had deliberately bumped into her ex-boyfriend, conveniently putting the diamond in his pocket. Daphne took the photo then sent it to the detective. Her ex-boyfriend just woke up and could not understand why he was taken to prison. This time he is considered to be done. However, Daphne had a question that the money they sold the necklace had passed to the Debbie's ex-boyfriend, so they were not enough to share. Debbie opened the refrigerator, where contained many valuable jewelry items. It turned out that the day the necklace was stolen, she found that the security forces at the museum were extremely weak. Debbie took this opportunity to bring in the pre-arranged ones and steal all the jewels being displayed there. Now, everyone can share an amount much larger than the other necklace. After that, each of them lived a very lavish life. Some people open a jewelry store, some open a factory, and some live a life of free every day. Daphne stopped working as an actress, but switched to directing the film. The movie here is over. Through this story, we can see that the revenge of women is very terrible if you betray them. So do not to try it. Thank you for watching. Follow my page to watch more film review.